<coughs> kind of take me through learning to pitch at altitude as a Colorado Rocky where you're going in and out? Yeah, so uh, I think last year was a really good learning experience for me, being able to see the difference of how the ball moves at home versus on the road uh, and the transition that it's going to take. You know, every road trip that we go, we've got to learn how to adjust there. And then when we come home, you got to learn how your stuff works both at home and on the road. So I think for me, this off season, being able to really figure out what was going to be the best for me at home was really beneficial. Was that a bit surprising because you are from there, but there's another piece to it, I guess. Yeah, and <laughs> pitching my whole big league career, a professional career in a place other than Colorado, we would come in for series, but it doesn't really affect you that much when you come in for one series because you don't think about it that much. Whereas when you are there for half of your games, you really start to notice a difference uh, because it's hard to find consistency. When you're on a team that plays, you know, one series every you know month or two there what uh when i was the giants we would just come in and just know like hey you gotta you gotta execute better pitches and that's all we would think about versus for us now we understand that every other week we're going somewhere different and we've got to be able to utilize what our pitches are doing to our best of our advantage when you evaluated last season um tell me what you came to because obviously you, you learned to pitch a bit out of the bullpen how did you feel that you did um, overall this season? Yeah, I felt like I threw the ball pretty well. I had some rough outings for sure, but uh, I think just understanding uh, how your stuff plays and knowing, uh, hey, we got to make some tweaks, figure out how to get a few more ground balls, figure out how to limit the hard contact, that kind of thing. I think that really helps play a big difference. Do you feel like a reliever now? Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. Uh, I still feel like if they needed me to start, I could go do that if they wanted me to. Uh, I know I have the ability to lengthen out at any point, so it um, doesn't really matter to me. Were you surprised, having grown up in Colorado, <coughs> pitching there your whole life until you moved out, that you had to come back and make adjustments again when you came back with the Rockies? Yeah, a little bit, because I do train there in the off season, so I'm used to kind of that environment and used to kind of how my stuff is playing, but I'm also used to then going to spring training and then that you know what i kind of find in spring training that's all i have to worry about for the rest of the year so that consistency that you have starting from day one in spring training when you're playing with a team that's not at altitude it's really easy to master versus when you're bouncing back and forth that's a whole different animal you've been pitching pretty well this spring what has been working so well for you i think just a few tweaks that i was able to make in the off season uh just uh from you know some grip standpoints and uh just understanding you know what i'm trying to do make the how to make the ball move and just kind of building on the confidence that i got from last year what were some of those tweaks that you made just uh some grip changes on the fastball and uh, things like that just to uh, try to create some different movement profiles and uh, just really kind of understand how I want to use my arsenal and uh, know what's going to play the best for me. Did that advice come from the Rockies or is it something that you kind of decided on your own? Uh, it kind of came from uh, some people that I've been working with in the off season, um, just kind of breaking down some numbers and things. I had talked with Brittany about it uh, at the end of last year. We had kind of honed in on some things. So some things that I took in uh, to the off season with me with some ideas to take to uh, the people that I work with uh, down at Throw Formants uh, in the off season last eight or so days of spring training you're here um, you know non-roster guy you've have you learned how to handle that this is, there could be stress there could be anticipation how do you handle that yeah this is my uh third spring training uh, as a non-roster guy kind of coming down to the end so i kind of know what to expect i know kind of the emotions of it and you just uh have to be present every day and just enjoy the ride and whatever happens from there you just uh keep working hard and know that the best is yet to come thanks man yeah Thank you.